the five most important things for weight loss as someone who used to be 300 pounds and has since lost 140 pounds in 18 months without dieting. Number one, unstick your emotions. Get unstuck, folks. The way we do it in the Step It Up program is we work with movement, like exercise, yeah? But it's not really exercise because those emotions that you're carrying are also gathering weight around them. And when you can get unstuck and start to move those emotions through with our movement classes, you will be amazed at how much weight you lose effortlessly. Number two, sleep deep. Not only get eight hours of sleep, but try to get to bed before 10 p.m. and waking up after 5 a.m. Because if you don't work out in the morning, I've experienced that I will just put it off and say I'll do it tomorrow and then never do it. And it's really important to get ahead of the day so that you can make sure you're getting hydrated, you're exercising, and you're getting everything done that you need to do for your health, especially if you're a mom and you have kids and you're super busy. You got to get that done before 8 a.m. Number three, a taste bud reset. Now, if you're eating a lot of processed foods right now, unfortunately, your taste buds are going to demand more of those processed foods. That is unfortunate because those processed foods are full of herbicides, fungicides, pesticides, meaning toxins. They also are most likely genetically modified foods, and there may be other chemicals in there, like foods that aren't really good for you, like highly processed oils and high fructose corn syrup and other flavor enhancers, which literally hijack your taste buds. They take over your neurology, they hijack your gut microbiome, and they do a lot of damage. So in order to reset your taste buds, one step you could take today would be to eat more whole foods. I know it sounds so simple, but I'm telling you, as soon as you ingest those natural foods that are not laden with herbicides and fungicides and pesticides, and you learn how to make some recipes that you love with whole foods, your gut microbiome will start to respond differently. Your taste buds will start to shed all of those flavors that they wanted to attract before, and they're gonna start to ask for new things. Your neurobiology will also be responding differently. So I'm telling you, this is one pathway towards your success with your health and weight loss journey. Number four, 95% of diets don't work because they do not have the solutions for you. They have the quick fixes that make them tons of money, but it doesn't actually end up helping you. And that's why you keep gaining the weight back after doing all these diets. And that's why 95% of people fail. The real answer is within you and in your heart. You need to find the place and the people to help you thrive, to help you heal your journey with health and yourself and your weight loss. We are actually here to teach you and support you and help you with that. So if you're interested, check the link in the description. Number five, heal your gut. What do I mean by gut? I mean your belly. What do I mean by your belly? I mean your large intestine. I mean that stuff in your belly that makes up your poop, that digests your food. And I mean it, folks. When you want to heal your gut, there are a couple of simple steps that you can take that will completely transform your mood, believe it or not, less anxiety and depression, and also increase your immunity, which helps you to fend off colds and flus and viruses. It can also help you to lose weight. It is absolutely certain that when you focus on rehabilitating and healing your gut microbiome that gets destroyed by antibiotics and chemicals and stress and a sedentary lifestyle and lack of sleep and a number of other things that you will put the weight on and keep the weight on. And unless and until we really look deeply at how we can heal and restore your gut microbiome, the weight is not as easy to get off. And it's one of our secrets for how you can lose weight almost effortlessly. Comment below about something that's been really valuable for you on your weight loss journey, because we want to know. If you like what we're talking about and you wanna learn more, click the link in the description. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.